Good morning, Chantal. Good morning, nice to Sean. See you again. Pleasure being here. Welcome, everybody, for our second session of, uh, of our Yoga for Golf. And uh, super stoked. I actually put in some time this Monday. I'm going to be doing this on Fridays and Mondays, and we're going to be together on Wednesday. So that's three times a week. That'll be uh, uh, really solid enough. Uh, I think if we do three times a week, we should see some good results. I'm hoping. That's, oh. that's the idea. Well, oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Here. They're expecting oh, some yes. results here. There will be results. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in your capable hands. Absolutely, good. So today, what I'm proposing is that we're going to be focusing on creating stability in the lower body, okay. specifically our glutes. So we'll be assessing the strength of Remember your glutes. Remember, Tiger had trouble firing his glutes, you know, that's because he didn't come and see Chantal. Exactly. So assessing the glutes, but also ways on improving strength in that area. Yeah. The glutes are part of our core. When we think of core, a lot of people think abs. Really? Yeah. And okay. they, forget about core, they forget about the glutes. They forget about their back. Today, specifically, is the glutes. Okay. Um, and when you think of yoga, relating stability to yoga, um, if there's no stability in the lower body, right. then if I ask you to stand in a posture, yeah. you're, gonna, you're not going to feel stable. You're going to be compensating in yes. other areas of the body, and compensation brings tension. Yes. Tension, eventually, over years, brings injuries. Exactly. So you remember our, one of our first uh, lessons we're coming up on our 10th anniversary, you guys. It's December 11th. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. So, and our first lesson was like a minute lesson was about posture. Mm -hmm. And we talk about how if you stand nice and tall and you lean back just a bit, right away, your brain has to activate your core and you'll feel lower back, you'll feel upper legs, you'll feel your, your, you know, your, the tension in your quads because mm -hmm. your brain doesn't want you to fall over. So if you're not in the proper posture, then it's going to compromise your ability to perform certain movements. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm in. You're in? I'm in. Good. I'm glad you are. I'm going to start right away. Okay. 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 So let's lie on your back. Okay. Yeah. With your knees bent. So the feet on the floor. Good. And the first thing we'll do is assessing okay. the strength of the glutes. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is visualize that your ankles are right under your knees. Right under okay. Knees. For some people that can cause tension in the knees. So okay. if it does, don't force it. Go to a point of comfort. Okay. All right. And then from here, take a moment to make sure that your lower back right. has its natural lumbar curve. And you do, because yeah. I'm able to slide my hand okay. under your back here. From here, arms up towards the ceiling with your palms together. Okay. Yes. Relax the shoulder blades on the mat. Beautiful. Okay. Then I want you to gently lift your hips up towards the ceiling good essentially in a bridge pose okay good now keeping your hips leveled and for those at home if you don't have a trained eye that's looking at what you're doing you could take you know an umbrella or a golf club putting across the pelvis okay. and make sure that throughout the assessment the hips stay level okay okay now from here I want you to slowly extend your right leg out keeping thighs parallel to one another Correct. And we're going to stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Ooh, so go okay. come down, hips down for okay. a moment. Take a moment to pause. So you pass the test for the left glutes. Because yeah. the left glute yeah. was really... Did you see my legs start shaking? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Then from here, we'll go on the other side. So okay. lifting the hips up, arms up towards the ceiling, palms together, relaxing jaw. Good. And then extending the opposite leg. Good. Ten. Nine. Lifting the hip a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Seven. Six. Five. It was much easier. Four. Do that. Yeah. Three, two, one, and release. Release. Extend. Yep. Yeah, hips down. Extend your legs out, and take a moment to relax. Yeah. The um, hamstrings. Yes. Nailed me on that one. Okay. Which tells me. Yeah. Yeah. That your right glute. Yeah. Is not as strong as your left one. Okay. Because okay? your hamstring wanted to kick in to help the process. Oh. Either that or, yeah. like Tiger Wood, yeah. you had a, a challenge 
really Engage. ignite engaging okay. that right glute. Okay? okay. So either way, if we were to continue private sessions together, so yeah. if I was to do more sessions with you, we would investigate that in different ways. Today, I'm going to try to give you an overall okay. global session so the viewers can also enjoy it. Okay. Right? Okay. So you didn't you didn't fail. Okay. But there's. <laughs> <laughs> There's some improvement that we, we, we will see, I'm okay. sure. All right. So from here, we'll start our session. So hands on your belly, close your eyes. We're going to prepare ourselves, not only oxygenizing our muscles properly through breath, but also quieting our mind. So I want you to take a nice deep breath in and sigh it out through your mouth. And then we'll do that two more times. A nice belly breath, feeling the belly rise against your hands. And long sigh out. And one last time. Nice breath in. And long breath out. Beautiful. Now from here, arms away from the body. Yep, on the floor. We're going to start a little bit of a dynamic warm-up. Last week we did our window washers. We're going to yeah. do the same thing. So All take right. a nice breath in. Exhale your knees to the right. Well, let me get the mic on. Yes. Okay. Good. Inhale back to your center. Exhale to the left. And continuing doing that at your own rhythm. Again, never straining, never pushing, allowing the process of time and breath to release tension, to open up the body a little bit more. Good, and as you continue doing that at your own rhythm, keep in mind that here we're really trying to work on loosening up the hips a little bit. So we're working specifically on external internal rotations. And for people that have lower back issues, this could release some of the tension. Of course, if it's done in a nice, easy way. No strain. Very nice. One more on each side. Good. Come on back to your center. Take a moment to pause and feel. How does the breathing affect your nervous system? You feeling a little bit? Much more relaxed. Yes. Yeah. Good. From here, I want you to bring your arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing each other. We'll continue our dynamic work, warm up. So I want you to take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, hug your right knee to your chest, hands on your knee. Hands on the knee? Yes. That's right. And we'll alternate like that. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, left knee to chest, hands on the knee. Inhale, exhale, knee to chest, hands on your knee so you can really squeeze the knee to the chest. Okay. Beautiful. Inhale, reach high with your arm, shoulder blades stay relaxed on the mat. Exhale, left knee to chest, hands on the knee and bring it a little closer. Good. Couple more. Inhale, exhale, inhale. One last time on the left side. Good. Inhale, lift your arms up towards the ceiling. Now I want you to slowly extend your left, your legs out. So, uh, on yep, the floor? Yeah, on the floor, completely on the floor. And dorsiflex your feet so your actually heels are driving away from you. Good. We're going to do the same thing 
but with extending the arms back, okay, okay? and the legs are extended. So okay. I want you to take a nice breath in bringing your arms back. Exhale your right knee to chest, hands on your knee or shin. Good. Inhale, long extension. So release as you inhale, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, knee to chest. And continue like that at your own rhythm. So in yoga, every time you inhale, you want to think of extension, creating space. And as you exhale, you bring it closer to you. And here, we're aiming to stretch a little bit the lumbar region and the hip. Feel the hip for sure. Yeah. Inhale, reach. Exhale. So remember, we're still part of our dynamic warm-up here. So in other words, we're not holding stat in a static way the poses, but we keep on breathing and moving with it. One last time on the left. You're going to have to tell me what the little squinting was all about when you brought your right knee to your chest. Assessment. Assessment, eh? <laughs> One last time, a long extension. And this time, exhale both knees to your chest. If you want, feet can come on the floor first. Good. And just give yourself a little bit of a tug here. Rocking a little bit side to side. Okay. Don't forget about the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Good. And then releasing your feet on the floor. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Here comes the fun part for your hamstrings. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to hand you the belt. Yep. So at home, if you have a tie, a belt, it could also be a towel. Yep. Same thing. I'd like you to wrap it under the sole of your right foot okay. and at the ball of the foot. So not in the middle, but okay. at the ball. Okay. okay. And hold the belt high on your hands so your arms are straight. So you're actually holding the belt. Okay. Yeah, walk your hands up, walk your hands up. Good. But relax your shoulder blades and shoulders down. I want your knee to be right on top of your hip so there's a bend in your knee to okay. start with. Okay. And ideally, I want your lumbar spine yeah. to have its natural curve. So don't work at flattening that lower back. Okay. Okay. So relax your elbows, relax your arms. Beautiful. Good. Then taking a nice deep breath in, exhale and guide your heel nice and high towards the ceiling. Okay. Just the heel. Breath in. So inhale it at rest yeah. and exhale out. Inhale, bend the knee a little bit more. And exhale out. Okay. So I'm going to stop you right here for a moment. What we're going to try to do is to keep that thigh para, uh, perpendicular to the Got floor. It. So don't bring it close to your chest. Okay. Focus only on the heel getting nice and high. So I don't care how straight that leg is going to become. I want a healthy stretch for your hamstring. So you said no strain, right? That's right. No strain. That's a good thing. <laughs> yes. So stay in the zone that is comfortable and healthy. So no strain. Take a nice breath in and exhale. Guide your heel a little higher. Good. Inhale, you may want to release a little bit. Yes. And exhale, guide your heel a little higher, thigh moving away from you. Very good. Do you feel a stretch in the hamstring oh, here? Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Three more. Inhale, bend a little bit. Thigh is going to come a little closer to you. And exhale, thigh away, heel up. Two more. And be observant as you continue doing this to notice any tension that may creep up in the jaw, in the shoulders, in the neck. The cold sweat run down That's the face. That's right. <laughs> we want to avoid that, right, for obvious reason. And exhale. Very nice. So from here, slide your hands down the belt. Yeah. I'm going to remove the belt, bend your knee. Extend both legs out for a moment. And just pause to observe how different they may feel. Relieved. Yeah, relieved. And anticipating pain. Oh, really? Eh? Oh, no. <laughs> 
We're going to have to. Yeah, exactly. It's first one. For, it's, it. a, it's a new move, right? I know I'm going to have a good feeling of accomplishment after this one. Okay, good. So many people will say, oh my God, my right leg feels a little longer. And, oh, yeah. and, 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 and it is. Okay. Really, that's what yoga does. It stretches you out, right? Okay. Um, so we're going to try to um, well, now that you mention it, yeah. Good. Okay. calibrate that. So feet on the floor, yep. giving you the belt. Wrap it under the sole of the left foot, right at the ball. And remember, I'm not aiming to have a, a straight leg to start with. Eventually, we may get there. Yep. That's not the purpose. The purpose is a healthy hamstring stretch. Gotcha. Okay. So relax overall. Take a nice breath in and exhale. Guide your heel nice and high towards the ceiling. As you inhale, you can maybe bend the knee a little bit more. Bring the thigh a little closer to you. And exhale. Thigh away from you. Heel nice and high towards the ceiling. Very good. Continuing at your own rhythm. So moving dynamically with the breath. And really paying attention here to the sensation in the back. So quite often, if the hamstrings are really tight, muscles in the back are going to tighten for the movement to happen. So we want to move in a range where our back is comfortable. And where we don't... Keeping the curvature in the lower back? Correct. As much as possible. Yes. If we lose the curvature in the back, it's an indication that one of the uh, indication is that we need to work on stretching those hamstrings. I could feel the back flatten out, that's for sure. Yeah. So two more. Nice and easy. So that would be a compensation in the back for the lack of flexibility. In the yes, aspect. and it will also mean that you know the muscles are pulling, so everything wants to come with the movement as opposed to just staying in a range that is comfortable. Okay, <laughs> one last one. Very good. Bending your knee. Releasing the belt, yeah. Extending so. both legs out. I've been a sloucher my whole life. Mm -hmm. Would that, would the tight hamstrings have anything to do with the slouching posture? It, it may, yeah. So, because if you're slouching, I don't know if you've been sitting a lot in your life, driving a lot. So no, this. I just remember from a very young age, my mom saying, "Stand up straight." Stand up straight, <laughs> yeah. Slouching will affect mostly, you know, the upper back, but everything yeah. is linked. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we need to uh, to look at the body in a global way as yeah. opposed to. One, one area in particular. Perfect. Good. So, arms by the side of your body, palms down. Now that we've stretched, hopefully, a little bit the hamstrings, yeah. we're going to work on building strength in the glutes. Okay. okay. Quite often, if the glutes are weak or not able to activate, yeah. the hamstring are not going to work and they're going to cramp up. Yeah. And by stretching them a little bit initially, hopefully, we're going to diminish okay. that possibility. So, feet hip width apart. And I want, again, ankles right under your knees if that's accessible to you. Yeah. Okay? So I want you to find a good stability on your feet because your feet are your part of your foundation okay. here. Then keeping your upper body nice and relaxed, mm -hmm. knees are going to stay in line with your hips. Yep. So if you can, back your feet towards you a little bit more. Good. And knees staying in line with your hips. Okay. okay? I want you to come up into your bridge. So glutes oh. are going to do the work. Good and release all the way down as you exhale. Good. Four more like that. Inhaling and exhaling down. So I'm going to remove my hands. Beautiful. So the work should be in the glutes and not in the arms. Correct. So now I'm giving you a little bit of um, gotcha. support on the arms, right? Gotcha. Exhale down, and if we wanted to um, increase a little bit the level of difficulty, the arms would be up. But for now, okay. Okay. You've, you've worked hard so far, I'm giving you a break. <laughs> Exhale all the way down. One more time. Exhale all the way down. Beautiful. Now stay there for a moment. Bring your arms a little closer to you with your palms down. We're go yep. going into the traditional posture yep. of bridge um, in yoga. Okay. So I want you to connect your arms to the floor but without using the strength in your arms. So feel yep. that part of your foundation and inhale into your bridge. We're going to hold there for a few breaths. Good. I'm going to 
visualize, and here you're doing it beautifully, the front of the body being in one plane, so from your okay. shoulder, your hips, and your knees. Okay. okay. It's also great to open the front of the body, so the hip flexors, the belly, and the chest. Yeah. Feel the abs working. Good. So can you give me three more breaths here? I forgot. <laughs> That's very common, forgetting to breathe. And then we wonder why we're, we're stressed, right? Beautiful. One more nice breath in. And exhale all the way down. So articulating the movement from the top of the spine all the way down. So we'll roll it down on the exhalation. Take another nice breath in. Yep, inhale. And exhale down. So visualize from the top of the spine, you're rocking it down. Very good. Okay. Good. Sway your knees a little bit side to side. That feels a lot less tight than before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's more movement, more yeah. ease, right? A lot more. Good. So one more on each side. And then from here, come back to your center, and I'd like you to Roll on your left side so we don't damage that mic and okay. come onto your hands and knees, so in okay. your table position. Okay. Table. So if you remember, yeah, table position, it's a foundational pose in yoga, right? Yeah. We want the fingertips to press down a little bit on the mat. That's going to help bringing strength to the wrist, the okay. arms and the hands as well. Okay. And shoulders are back. Beautiful. Very nice. So curl your right toes under. So just the right one. Oh. Yep, that's it. And then keeping your toes on the floor, slide that leg back all the way back. Good. Take a moment here to press your heel back to get a nice calf stretch. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. And then I want you to visualize that your hips are nice and leveled. So again, if I was to put, you know, yeah. that tray of champagne glasses, yeah. it would not tip. Okay. Yeah. Now using your glute and your hamstring, yeah. lift the leg up. And we'll work a little bit on creating mobility in the spine and focus on the core the same way we did last week. So I'm going to take a nice breath here. And as you exhale, bring your knee towards your nose, rounding the upper back. So knee to nose, beautiful. Three more. Inhale, extend, reach back with the heel. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, knee to nose. One last time. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, feel the core activating here as you bring it all towards the midline. Good. Inhale, one more time, extend. We're going to stay there. Feel the glute, feel the hamstring. Yep. Keeping your thigh parallel to the floor, bend your knee so the sole of your foot is going to come towards the ceiling. Good. And then I want you to visualize that you're just lifting a little higher, trying to connect to the sensation in the right glute. Are we feeling this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you give me three breaths here? And as we stay here with the breath, notice if the form changes, if the intensity changes. Those are all cues that our body are sending us. And one last time. Good. Now slowly extend the leg back. Release your toes down on the floor. Right toes down. Yep. Yeah. And bring your knee back in. How are you doing? Yeah, on the third breath, you could tell the, the hamstring was starting to compensate. Okay, good. So you, you've got body awareness, which is good. So keep that in mind as you move. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give your arms, shoulders, and hands a break a little bit. So okay. go towards your child's pose, okay, hips yeah. towards your heels. Oh, yeah. That's what that's for. Yes. Give your arms a break. Yeah, and it feels a little bit yummy on the lats, right? The lats and the quads. <laughs> yes. Uh, so take a few deep breaths here. Before this, is a, this is a great stretch. Yeah, I love that one. So take a nice breath in, visualizing that you're creating space in the entirety of your back here. Very nice. And then come forward. And then we'll prepare for the other side. So never rush 
through the process, mm -hmm. take the time to create that nice foundation yeah. on your hands, on your knees, fingertips active on the mat. Yes, it's almost like clawing, but with ease, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so from here, curling the other toes under, sliding the toes back, keeping the toes on the floor, pressing the heel away, get a nice calf stretch here. And at the same time, really connect to, okay, how's my core feeling here? What is activated for me to be able to stay nice and neutral here, okay? And then from here, think of your glute, your hamstring, and lift the leg up. Good. Think of that tray. Very nice. And then on your next inhalation, think of extension, that leg getting nice and long from the hip socket to the heel. Exhale, knee to nose. Good. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Two more at your own rhythm. So in a yoga class, what I'm doing here right now, I'm asking you to inhale and exhale at a certain moment. Um, but it's important to follow your own rhythm of breath. Some people breathe more quickly, others slower, so never get to a point where you feel that you're out of breath because you're trying to follow my own rhythm. Good, one last time, extend that leg. You're gonna stay there for a moment. Reposition yourself, very nice. And then from here, keeping your thigh parallel, bend the knee. And notice how the thigh tends to lower down a little bit, right? Good. And can we stay here for three more breaths? And remember, our purpose here is building strength in the core, the glutes, a little bit in the hamstring as well, because they do need to support the movement here. We don't want them to take over. Good. Extend, extend the leg out. Yes. Toes down. All the way down. All the way down to the floor <laughs> and knee down <laughs> and bring, come back to your neutral table good oh go back to your extended child's pose yes. yeah <laughs> so how did that feel from one side to the next did pretty consistent okay good excellent so from here, we'll give a little bit of a variation to the extended child's pose. I want you to come back to your neutral table. We did this last week as well. Walk your hands towards the left, but not too far. Oh, sorry, yeah, that. that's right. <laughs> then left elbow on the floor. Yeah. Right hand extends. Yeah, and not that much arch, like just about here. Yeah, okay. here yeah. you go. And breathe into the right side of the body here. If you want to Add a little bit more of an active stretch. You can get high on your fingertips and then press the floor away as you dip your hips towards the right. Dip the hips towards the right. That's right. Okay. So we're trying to counteract, right? Gotcha. This way. Good. Very nice. Now bring your right hand back close to your left. Come back to your neutral table. Walk your hands towards the right. Not too much. <laughs> right elbow down and reach with your left hand. Nice and far, good. And take a couple of deep breath into the left side of the body now. And this time, if you wish, the hips could dip a little bit towards the left, only if you feel it's necessary. You may already feel a pretty good stretch just being here. I do. Good. So two nice breaths. So the indication that you may have gone too far into a stretch is if you hold the breath, right? Yeah. If there's no ease in the breathing, gotcha. we've gone too far. Let's come back to your neutral table. Good. Now, because I'm all about comfort, comfort, all I'm right. going to give you a blanket. Okay. And I'd like you to 
bring your right foot forward. So your knees are going to be on the blanket. Okay. Yep. That's it. And then you're bringing your right knee forward. Good. The other right. The other right. <laughs> Good. My students do that all the time, and then I wonder, oh, yeah, I do that too. The other right, yeah. So we're going to work on stability, but also foundation. So if you look at my right leg here, my mm -hmm. ankle is right under my knee for good stability. Got it. Yeah. And in many cases, that right hip is going to want to lift. So we want to try as much as possible to keep them square. Okay. Okay. Then curl your back toes under. Yep. Yeah. And then visualize that your shoulders are floating on top of your hips, so avoiding going forward or back, creating lots of tension in the back. Right. Then from here, see if you can visualize bringing your back heel back, so you're bringing your back heel back, and tailbone just a little bit forward. I'm trying to open the yeah. left hip flexors, yeah. feeling this? Okay. Yeah. So hands just relax on your front thigh for a moment. Why don't you stay here for a couple of breaths? I look okay? Yeah. Looks stacked? Yes. Actually, your right, right ankle could be a little bit more forward for it to be stacked. A little bit more. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. So, connect to the sensation. Okay. So, I'm looking for a stretch. In the hip flexor. In, in the left hip flexor. Right. Okay. You're also looking for, you're, you're, you're doing it without probably noticing, but there's strengthening happening in the yeah. right glute, right? Yeah. In the hamstring. Yeah. Good. Now from here, right hand is gonna go on your right hip. Okay. Yes. Left arm is gonna lift up. Good. Take a nice deep breath in, lengthen the left side of the body. Yeah. And as you exhale, side stretch towards the right. Inhale, come on back to your center. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, come on back to your center. And exhale, side stretch. Very good. Come on back to your center as you inhale. You as you go very far to get a workout, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you exhale, release your arm down for now. Okay. Good. From here, arms at shoulder height, palms facing each other. I want shoulders to be nice and relaxed. Now here we really work at creating stability in the foundation because we're about to add a rotation in the upper body okay, okay thoracic spine so what i'd like you to visualize is that you're on ice and if you weren't try, trying to drag your front foot and your back knee towards each other you'd mm -hmm. fall into a split on the ice okay. so activate drag everything to the midline and i want you to take a nice deep breath in opening your right arm and following the fingers with your gaze Okay. And as you exhale, you come on back. Do you want to go to maximum stretch? Yes, as long as you don't lose your stability. Okay. okay, so inhale, open up. Exhale, come on back. Very nice. Couple more. Inhale. Exhale. One last one. And exhale. Very good. Great. Now from here, you saw that there's a little bit of yeah. wobble, right? Wobble there. That so, left side's getting tired. That's right. Good. So we're done with that left side. So okay. fingertips to the mat. Okay. Safely step back. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Okay. And then step forward. Good. Now let's create that foundation that's going to allow us to sustain the sequence, right? So left ankle right under your knee. Yep. Curl the, right, the back toes under, yep. okay? Shoulders on top of the hips, hands on your thighs, and just get acclimatized here a little bit to the sensation, specifically front, um, the, the hip flexors. So take, take the strain off the quad and put it in the hip. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, no, so we're not taking strain from the quad to the hip. We're trying to um, get a nice stretch in the hip flexors yes. of the right thigh, yeah, but yeah. still maintaining a nice stable okay. quad here okay. and glute, right? So both legs are doing work. Good. Good? Okay. All right, so take a yes. couple of breaths here. Yes. <laughs> Good. So here, I want you to take a moment just to visualize your left hip getting 
lower just a little bit because it's tilted up. Yeah, very nice. Good. And at home, by the way, if stability is an issue, a hand on a chair or using a golf club gotcha. is absolutely okay. okay. It's preferable, actually. Okay. Good. Now from here, left hand on your left hip, inhaling your right arm up, and exhale, side stretch. Inhale, come on back to your center, and exhale, side stretch. Continuing at your own rhythm. Just noticing how much stabilization needs to happen. I found if I close my eyes while doing that, I lose my stability. Of course, yes. <laughs> we haven't talked about balance pose. Exhale this way. Exhale. Yes, that's right. We haven't talked about balance poses yet, but uh, we'll have fun with that. That should be <laughs> Eventually. good. Eventually. A nice inhalation. Exhale one last time. Good. Come on back to your center. Release your right arm down. Bring your arms up at shoulder height, palms facing each other. And this time around, keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed and your hips square. Inhaling, opening the left arm. Following the fingers with your gaze. Exhale, bring your arm back. And yes, if you want to challenge yourself, close the eyes, but not a must. <laughs> Beautiful. Three more. Could, uh, could we use a focal point while doing this? Just keeping the eyes up front? You, you could. Or is it preferable to keep the head moving with the rest? I like the head moving with the rest because there's, there's ease throughout the body okay. when, when that does. Okay. If you keep the gaze forward, I find the tendency is for people to really lead with their arm. Okay, gotcha. And I want to avoid that. Okay, gotcha. okay? okay. Yeah. So fingertips to the mat and bring your knee back. <laughs> okay, so you know what? We'll jump, we'll, we'll come forward instead. So fingertips okay. to your mat. Yeah. Lift your back knee off the mat. Yeah. Very good. Step forward. Gotcha. Hands on your knees. And stay forward full for a moment. Okay. Looking at your feet parallel to one another. Mm -hmm. Good. I want you to bring your elbows on your knees. Elbows. Okay, I know that you've told me you do a lot of, or you used to do a lot of skiing. Yeah. Right? So I want you to visualize from your tailbone to the crown of the head, you're getting nice and long. Okay. Okay. Then hover your elbows over the knees. Yeah. Press your heels down so you're feeling your glutes activating here. I'm ready to blow <laughs> you're out. You're really, eh? Right All right. So hands on your knees. Let's roll it up. Roll yeah. it up. Roll, 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 roll. Yeah. Shake the legs. I'll go, uh... I'll go back to that one though. Okay, shake the legs a little bit. Damn, my, my ski legs are gone. <laughs> oh, they'll come back quickly, you'll okay. see. And don't forget any new moves, new routine introduced, yeah. it's foreign. So your brain, your body's trying to adjust. You'll, you'll, you'll get used to it. Okay, Yeah. Good. So I just want to bring a little bit of a release in the hamstrings and okay. in the legs. So I'm going to bend your knees a little bit. We're going to do a very mild forward fold, okay? Okay. So, and I want you to pay attention at the forward fold that it happens, the pelvis coming forward, yeah. as opposed to me leaning with my shoulders and my chin. That's golf posture right there. Right, right. that's okay. C posture, right? Yeah. So we want to avoid that. Bend your knees a little bit because we know the hamstrings are yeah. tight. That's it. Bending a little bit and just continue going down, continuing, continuing. Eventually, yes, the spine is going to round a little bit. That's okay. Release your hands onto your shins maybe. Okay. Yes, beautiful. And just release your head and neck here. Take a moment just to feel the roundness here. Okay. Couple of breaths. No pain here. Strain. Stretch. Stretch, yes. I'm going to try to find that right yeah. word that's going to work for Definitely you. Definitely stretch. <laughs> okay. Borderline, borderline strain. Okay, yeah. so use your feet and roll it up nice and easy. Press the floor away with the feet. 
Ah, beautiful. That's that's a good awareness uh, exercise for the feet. It's, um, so often I see students that while while they're swinging, you know, the the, the pressure points of the, the back of the foot just leave the ground, and they're not aware of it. They're not aware of how grounded they are. Correct. So this is going to be really good for you guys. Yes, and and in yoga, it's all about that. It's all about being grounded, and yes, a lightness in the upper body. Right. Right. Trees. Yeah. Fully grounded, but they flow. There if they don't, go. they break. Right. Like when we had the ice storm, correct? Yes. All right, so we'll finish with our mountain pose like we did last week. Okay. So we'll turn to face our people. Yes. Going to find, that's right, stability on your feet. Nice and comfortable. Chin parallel to the floor and closing your eyes. And we'll take three nice deep breaths here. And side out through the mouth every time. So nice long exhalation through the mouth. In one last breath. And gently opening your eyes. And how do you feel? Awesome. Now, I'm, I was thinking we'd go back to this key position and do some more, but is, really, is, eh? is, is that recommended or? No, at this point, from what yeah. I've observed, okay. I would say, Let's give it a rest, okay. right? And we'll definitely come back to it in future so sessions. No, no three, you know, no three mega reps uh, from the gym, right? No, absolutely right. not. Cool. Absolutely okay. not. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Yep. So hopefully we've developed an awareness as to how first to assess the strength of the glutes. Yes. We didn't come back to it because it's about strengthening, not about yep. range of motion like we did last week, right. for example. Yes. Um, so for the people at home, if you want to keep that assessment in mind, maybe yep. in a month or two months or so, yep. try to reassess. So okay. now, between now and our next session, mm -hmm. uh, so let's say if I were to do would I do my Friday session as the last one we did and my Monday session as this one? That would be great. That would be good. That would be good because it's an overall. There's my okay. mission. There's your mission. Okay, good. Wonderful. Thank you, Chantal. You're welcome, right. Sean. My pleasure. See you guys next week. See you later.